Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Samanita and this is my channel Makeup and Beauty. So in today's video, I am going to review a new launch all from Nyaka Cosmetics. I know due to the current situation, Nyaka is not promoting their new launches and that's why these new launches are not getting enough limelight. But yes, today here I am with four new shades from a new range of Nyaka lipstick. Now this new range are known as Nyaka Matte Luxe Lipsticks and and I have four of them right now so this is the outer carton box of this lipsticks as you can see they are pretty color coordinated outer carton box with the lipstick bullet and I really like their cardboard box packaging it is very sleek classy and the name has already been written on top of that cardboard box in a golden print so this is how the outer carton box of this lipstick is and yes the price of this lipsticks has already been mentioned in the video and also in the description box in case you want to check and the net weight of this lipstick is 4.8 gram so this is how the outer carton box look like and let's move on to lipstick bullet and as you can see the lipstick bullet are pretty dupable like those huda beauty powder matte lipstick kind of packaging as the outer lipstick case look exactly same almost like the color of the bullet of the lipstick so it is actually a color coordinated lipstick packaging which i really like because from that outer case you can really guess what kind of shade it is inside this lipstick so right now i'm holding a carton box of one lipstick which is named as staycation just to show a closer look of the packaging and this is how the carton box look like i am just flipping this carton box to show you the packaging of this lipstick very closely in case you want to see the entire packaging of the cardboard box and here i am showing the same lipstick staycation along with the cardboard box just to show you how similar they are in case of of packaging the lipsticks case is square in shape and that's why it take very small space in your stash the lipstick has a magnetic closure and this is how the lipstick bullet look like the bullet of the lipstick is pretty similar with those regular kind of lipstick the bullet is little bit bulky i would say but this kind of bulky bullet lipsticks are very good for my thin lips as they are very easy to line my lips and the slanting structure of the bullet is really good for applying this lipstick on any thin lips so this is how the swatch of this lipstick staycation look like although it is showing like a matte kind of texture on my hand but in real it has a very subtle satin kind of finish on my lips like you can see the pigmentation of this lipsticks is really good I mean one or two swipe and you will get just the opaque shade on your lips as you can see all I just wanted this lipstick to be little more matte because from the this application you can see the texture of these lipsticks are looking little bit shiny which means that it has a satin kind of texture the pigmentation of both lighter shade and dark shade are really good and the lipstick glides super smoothly on my dry lips it doesn't dry out with time and that's why it doesn't make your lips look dry definitely these lipsticks are good for people who love to retouch their lipstick after every two to three hours because these lipsticks are not transfer proof at all as you can see they transfer a lot but at the same time they keep staying on your lips with little bit of fading and after three to four hours it needs a touch up otherwise it totally fade from the lips i really like the color story of this lipsticks what i really don't like is the staying power i was expecting the staying power of this lipstick will be little better compared to the price but yeah they are not so long staying kind of lipstick neither they are transfer proof but here i am showing a trick in which you can use this lipsticks in a matte way and also it will stays a little longer like four to five hours on your lips so what i am doing i am taking one dry tissue and I am just dabbing my lips in that tissue like so and I'm just holding it for 10 to 20 seconds like this can you see the effect the lipstick instantly transferred it into totally matte lipstick now here I'm doing another kiss proof test so that you can see that what changes it make and see there is almost no transfer on my hand after dabbing this lipstick with that tissue paper so yeah in this way you can keep this lipstick stays little 
longer on your lips although removing of this lipstick is not a pain at all whether you keep it like it used to be apply on your lips or you keep it like matte after dabbing some tissue it is always very easy to remove as you can see and yes in this video you can see that a simple wet wipes is just enough to remove that lipstick at one go almost a lighter lipstick leaves no stain on your lips whereas the darker shade is little bit pain while removing because once it turns out matte it is little bit difficult to remove those dark lipstick as they leave some stain on your lips as you can see i am trying to remove one dark berry shade from my lips and after that you can see the stain it leaves on my lips so yeah over in all i am just okay okay with this lipstick although the packaging the color story of this lipsticks are really good and i feel that there are a variety of shade in this range for which uh, i would say that there is at least one shade for every skin tone what i really don't like is the texture of this lipstick which is actually a satin matte whereas this one supposed to be like matte lux i mean it's supposed to be more matte but it is satin the next thing is that that the staying power the staying power of these lipsticks are not so good unless and until i dab those lipstick with my tissues so yes you had to put a little bit of effort if you want to try out these lipsticks otherwise these lipsticks are really good for daily basis if you are a person who use lipstick on daily basis and you don't want to invest too much money on lipstick because your lipstick going to end like after one month or so then you can definitely go and check out these lipsticks because these are not bad and definitely they are really good although i would say the price point of this lipsticks are a little bit high i wish they are like around 400 to 500 that would have been a better price for this lipstick but anyways if you are a lipstick lover i guess you are going to try out this lipstick anyhow like i am doing so yeah that's complete my today's review over this nika matte lux lipsticks i hope you like this video and find it helpful do comment below in the comment section and let me know your thoughts regarding this lipsticks and yes two giveaway is running on on my youtube currently so don't forget to participate in that and i will see you soon in my next video and now it's time for the swatches